So this is my setup. Runs on a 12 volt car battery. It feeds through these two wires. I've got two circuits on mine. We'll just deal with one. So the power goes through a resettable fuse to a variable resistor so that you can adjust the current being fed to the tank. A voltmeter and an ammeter so you can see what current you're actually putting through the tank. And then your positive and your negative output through a wire to the tank. Negative goes to the bus bar on the top which you hang your parts from to be plated. Positive goes to a piece of copper wire that runs around the tank and from that are hung the anodes which are hung on titanium wire. The reason for that is if you hang them on copper wire then you can't let the copper wire go into the solution because it will drag copper out of the wire into the solution. So if you pull them on copper wire you have actually have to hang them so that they're partly, partially out of the solution which means you're losing probably half the surface area of your anodes but if you hang them on titanium wire you can dunk them all the way in and use the full surface area so here I've got five anodes and they're just wrapped in kitchen towel or J cloths and that's just to stop small particles of the nickel from the anode getting into the solution because that can give you roughness on the parts once the anodes, anodes start to get used up and the positive wire from the power supply then goes to the copper wire that feeds around the outside if you mark once you've made the solution up if you mark where the level is then as the solution evaporates you can just add distilled water to bring it back up to the back up to the level solution needs to be kept at about 30 to 35 degrees C and the easiest way I've found to do this is just to use a washing up bowl filled with very hot water and then just dunk the, t the plating tank in there with a thermometer wait till it gets up to temperature if it doesn't get up to temperature straight away just replace the water in the bowl with some more hot water and you'll find that for sort of an hour's plating in the summer that will be enough to keep the electrolyte up to temperature you can put heaters in them aquarium heaters but I've never really found that that's necessary you can always take a bit of water out the bath and add some boiling water and just keep a check on the temperature as long as it doesn't go below 30 you should be alright another tip is that crocodile clips for connecting the power supply use stainless steel ones if you just use zinc plated ones because of the acidic nature of the electrolyte they go rusty in no time at all so you best to use stainless steel ones the copper wire around the outside will get a bit of corrosion on it after a time but it's easy enough just to take it off and just go over it with a scotch bright pad or something just to bring it back up the titanium hangers uh, they don't seem to corrode at all so they don't need cleaning at all the bus bar that will get corroded as well and it's best to clean that each time that you use it and also to make sure that where you clamp on it's nice and clean there as well so that you get a good electrical connection the instructions say that the parts plate better if you've got some agitation of the solution and the easiest way to add agitation is to use a fish tank pump which is this and then just with pipe you can put that in the bath 
and just position the pipe underneath the part probably hold it in place with a close peg and just position it under the part that's being plated and that will keep the solution agitated it just gives you a more even coating of the plating than if you just leave it without any as far as hanging the parts in the bath the easiest thing is to use some copper wire to hang them and just put some hooks on the end and hang them over like that the copper wire will corrode um, you'll also get some plating on them from the uh, from when you're plating the part but the copper wire is fairly easy to get hold of I'll just use old uh, household electrical wire strip it down and use the copper wire from that once you finish your plating you need to unhook un -hook the anodes put them in a plastic bag steel plastic bag or something like that um, because otherwise the nickel leaches out into the solution and overloads the solution and also put the lid back on so that you prevent any evaporation of the solution.